Welcome to the 65th installment of Tell Them Alejandro. You know one place for sports, cars, video games, fitness. If you're a man, you're here. Mr. Alejandro, I'm about to tell him. What you about to tell him, Alejandro? I'm about to tell you about the NBA Round 2 semifinals recap and the NBA Round 3 conference finals predictions. Tell him, Alejandro! Let's go to the Western Conference. We're going to start with the San Antonio Spurs versus the Portland Trailblazers. I pick Spurs in six. We all know Skip Bayless picked Spurs in six. But too bad, because the Spurs won the series in only five games. This was not even a matchup. The Portland Trail Blazers got spanked. They got washed. The four games that the Spurs won, double digits. Blowouts, not close. The starters are resting by the end of the game. It got out of hand. What happened, Portland? Oh, my God. Y'all got ran out the gym by old geezers. That's crazy. These guys are like old cars. And you need to change the oil every day. They all ain't got no knees. And y'all got ran out the gym? I was shocked. Y'all are supposed to be young and athletic and hanging in there with the geezers. This is basketball. Old people can't play ball. Old people experience, but they can't hang with the young athletic studs. I got ran out the gym straight up. But shout out to the Portland Trailblazers. They had a great season. Round one, I had the Houston Rockets defeating them, and they beat and upset the Rockets, in my opinion, in a stunner three-pointer buzzer beater by Damian Lillard. That was hot. Shout out to Damian Lillard. He's a great young player. I think he has a bright future. Shout out to Ella May, LaMarcus Aldridge. He was a beast. Double-double machine this playoff. He is definitely the cornerstone franchise player that any team could build around. And believe it or not, I heard there's a rumor that the Knicks had an opportunity to sign him at one point or trade for him, whatever, acquire him. And James Dolan messed that up. That's another story for another time. We will get into that because that's just ridiculous. Shout out to Nicholas Batum, the Frenchman. He, he held it down. I like his defense, his length, long wing player. Reminds me of Andre Karolinko back in the day when he was with Utah. Shout out to Wesley Matthews. Shout out to Mo Williams. T-Rob. I like Thomas Robinson. Shout out to the Portland Trailblazers. Great season. I expect better next season. Now, let's go to the Spurs. Tim Duncan, monster. Tony Parker had a great series, but he ended the series with an injury. And uh, that may be bad news for the Spurs going into next series. Just saying. Manu Ginobili held it down. He looks like he's a uh, Manu again because I remember last year in the finals, he looked poor, looked very bad. And shout out to Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, that's one of my favorite players. I like him a lot. He held it down. He's like a silent assassin. But he, he's a big part of what the Spurs do. Shout out to Coach Greg Popovich, obviously, in my opinion, best coach in the league. I expect big things from the Spurs. But I'm not sure if they're my favorites going into the next round. Now, let's go to that next series in the West. OKC versus the Los Angeles Clippers. I picked OKC to win this series in seven games. And OKC won the series in six games. Now, before I go on any further with this series, it's been brought to my attention that the officiating in the postseason has been so erratic and just so inconsistent. And it really put a damper on this series. This series... Both teams are very good, great teams, and I felt like the referees just put a stranglehold on the series. A lot of bad calls, man. Like A lot of these referees decided, you know what? If the OKC Thunder player has the ball and he gets fouled by a clipper and the ball goes out of bounds, since we didn't call the foul on the clipper, we're going to say out of bounds on the clipper, OKC ball, and that's, I don't like it at all. That's basically what happened in Game 5, and there was just a lot of inconsistent refereeing in this series and in the Brooklyn Nets series, by the way. Just saying, referees, I know you guys don't want to dictate the end of the game, but if it's a foul, call the foul. If it's out of bounds on somebody, we have action replay in 2014, so we can go to the replay and clearly see who touched the ball last. Please, referees, get the call right in the end that's all we want get the call right now let's go to the series i predicted that kd would be too much for the clippers and he was i said that he would drop dang near 30 points each game and he basically did he's the mvp let me tell you something nothing in the league will stop durant and westbrook other than a duo similar to them which would be james and wade i'm sorry nothing is going to stop them did you see russell westbrook this series what He's my favorite player. I know he's a top five player in the league. But dang, Westbrook, triple-double machine, making Chris Paul look like chump change, son. I'm sorry. Westbrook is out of this world. The athleticism is not matched by anyone other than me. Westbrook, you're phenomenal. Wow, shout out to Russell Westbrook. He's a beast. Serge Ibaka, he got injured in this series towards the end, game six. 
that could be bad news for the next series. Shout out to Chris Paul, though. He held it down. He had some ups and downs this series. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for Doc Rivers. I don't want to see these guys lose, you know. Shout out to Blake Griffin. He really showed some toughness, fortitude, gratitude, all that stuff. I like how Blake is developing. Shout out to DeAndre Jordan. A lot of the Clippers players, all that whole roster, it's a championship team, man. Shout out to y'all. Keep y'all heads up. Build. See if y'all can win next season. If Durant and Westbrook are out of the league. Because as long as they're in the West, the West is theirs. Now, let's go to the next series. Spurs, OKC. Hands down, I'm picking OKC quick. Six games. It's not. It's going to be competition because I respect the Spurs. But listen, the Spurs can't hang with OKC. Now, we all know that the San Antonio Spurs, back in 2012, were on a big-time winning streak. I believe it was over 20 games. And they were going up against OKC in the same position. The Western Conference Finals. San Antonio had home court advantage. The first two games were in Texas. San Antonio won the first two games. After that, it was a wrap. Durant, Westbrook, and at the time they had Beard. And they just took that series over four straight spankings. Three of them, I believe the last three games were tight competitive games. So don't even try and tell me, oh, if they don't, if OKC don't block the Spurs, they can't beat the Spurs. No. OKC could beat the Spurs in a close game. OKC can beat the Spurs in a blowout. They played them four times this regular season, OKC. And OKC won all four. I like Kawhi Leonard. He ain't ready for KD, for MVP, Mr. 54, the Durantula. Do you know who that is? Do you know what he would do to Kawhi Leonard? He's going to drop 30 on him every game. I tell you this every time. He's going to spank him. And, uh, and Tony Parker, Tony Parker, it's, it's time, it's time. We need to start praying for Tony Parker right now because a bad calf, and he's matched up with my mans, the Energizer Bunny, Russell Westbrook, Westbrook is going to eat Tony Parker alive. I respect Tony Parker. I like him. A lot of people love him. A lot of people feel like he's one of the top five players in the league, top ten. I agree with you. His talent is phenomenal. There is no, no guard, no point guard especially in this league that can deal with dealing with Russell Westbrook in seven games. Maybe six games, maybe five games, maybe one night. When you have to deal with him seven times and beat him four times... I'm always going to pick Westbrook over you, buddy. I'm sorry. Tony Parker's going to get smoked, especially with that calf injury. Now, is he, it's important. Serge Ibaka's leg injury is going to be a big deal. OKC needs him if they want to win this series, for real. Same way how the Spurs need Tony Parker. So that's going to be bothersome. Tim Duncan, I think he's definitely going to have an impact now that we know that you know Ibaka's not fresh and healthy. I'm taking the OKC Thunder. I feel like their role players, Reggie Jackson, he had a great series versus the Clippers. When they needed an, uh, the little things, rebounds. You know, Nick Collison, too, a long rebound or a big-time shot. He held it down. Shout out to Karan Butler. He also put in that work. The Butler did it. Oh, he's dialing long distance, whatever he likes to do. Shout out to him. I'm taking OKC. I respect the Spurs, so it could go seven. OKC is six. There you have it, folks. Mr. Alejandro's round two semifinals recap and my round three conference finals predictions. How do you think everything's going to play out? Tell them in the comments. <laughs> Tonight's bow tie is brought to you by my girl, Countess Mara. You know she always keeps me flying that blue on blue. Holla. Tune in for more sports cars, video game fitness, and all that. Follow at Telemale Hundred to hear my immediate reaction to live sports events. Or if you want to hear me cover a certain team or topic, tell them. Outro music. Ugh. Ultimately, I believe OKC will meet the Miami Heat in the finals. I would love to have OKC win. I do think the Heat would win that series, but I feel like it's time for the league to go in a new direction. I want to see OKC win. I want some new fresh blood. KD this season took LeBron's MVP. I want to see him take the championship also. His speech was very touching to me. It reminds me of me. It's a lot of the things that I went through. And I want to see KD victorious. We all know, you know, LeBron's going to be moaning and groaning about receiving fouls called and whatnot. Even though he gets all the fouls called, that's another topic. Anyway, let's get it. Uh, T-E-A. T-E-A. T-E-A.